Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to look at how to load and pre-process images. So let's put a heading here. And this is going to be load. Load and pre-process images. And this is again, uh, the entire code is directly from the docs. I'll put the link right here. And what I'll be doing is walking through and through the code and explaining what each line of code is doing. So the first thing we need to do is set up, that is get the libraries that we need. So set up and here we import numpy as in P and then we import OS and we'll import PIL, import PIL dot image import tensorflow as tf then import tensorflow underscore data sets as tfds and the version of tensorflow that uh, I'm using right now is this print tf dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore and this is 2.92 that is currently installed on this machine the first thing we'll do now the next thing we'll do, we'll do now is download the flash data set download the flowers data set and when we download this data set as you'll see each uh, there are five types of flowers and each flower gets uh, a separate directory so we'll download it via a link that i'm going to copy paste directly from the docs and it's a zip file and we'll write the code to unzip it as well so first we'll import path lib then we we'll is specify the URL so data set underscore URL is equal to and this is the URL I'll put the link to this URL in the description and with this URL then we are now ready to download the file data underscore dir is equal to tf dot keras dot utils dot get underscore file origin is equal to data set underscore url then file name is equal to flowers underscore photos and then we have antar is equal to true next we type d data underscore dir is equal to pathlib dot path data underscore dir and with this what we are doing is we are data set underscore url uh data set underscore url probably have, there's a typo here data set missing a so what we are doing here is we are downloading the file and once this is done we should be able to see uh, a separate folder created here at the root and wondering why we're not seeing it maybe because i already ran this so we go into the root folder so for that we can go back up here then if we go to the root let's let's do one thing just so that uh, we run this write everything from the scratch i'm going to restart this kernel so restart runtime runtime restart runtime and run all and hopefully uh, we would now be able to see the path that the file is downloaded to and it's at the root um, uh, once this run is finishes, we should see the file that was downloaded. Yep. We are downloading all the, importing all the libraries and then 
we have the file looks like once it's downloaded you don't see anything here so if you go to the root uh, right here and then in in here there is a folder called dot keras if you go there uh, there is this folder called data sets you click on that uh, here is the file that we downloaded flower underscore photos dot tar file tar dot gz then there is this untar uh, unzip folder which has the images and for example these five uh, five uh, types of flowers we have five different folders and this is the first flower and there will be fold uh, these are the image folders inside of it now what we'll do is we'll take a look at how many uh, total files we have in those directories so if you type image underscore count is equal to uh, first we'll what we'll do is we'll look at the length is look at the length of the uh, files length of a list that contains all the files and in the list that we'll create would be using this data underscore dir dot glob and inside of this parenthesis we specify star slash star dot jpeg and this will give us the count of total number of files image underscore count and as you see we have 3670 files if we look at how this particular line of code works we copy this what glob does is it uh, it returns this object which has uh, which has the information about the files and when we convert this to a list we will get list of all the paths and here if we just look at maybe the first two of them uh, these are the paths to the file so we have the file name which is located in root dot keras uh, data sets flower photos sunflowers so when when we take the length of that we get the total number of files now with that information we are now in a position to uh, look at one of the images so let's look at the images of roses roses is equal to list and then here we have data underscore dir dot glob roses backslash star and we type pill dot image with a capital i dot open str roses one square bracket zero and so here we should see the very first image and this is the image that we have opened we could try looking at different images and so let's see if we look at image number 10 this is the image we get with the images now downloaded let's look at how we can load the images using keras utility and so let's create a heading here load data using a keras utility and what we are going to do here is we are going to first create a data set then visualize it and finally uh, standardize the data set so to create the data set here's what are the steps so again we create a subheading inside of this again create a data set we can first determine the parameters such as batch size batch size is equal to 32 image height is equal to 180 then we have image width we can set it to 180 as well and now we can uh, set up the split for validation set and so if we want to what we can do is we can keep 
uh, 80% of images for the training. So for training, we set out 80% of the images. And then for validation, we can set out the 20% of images. For this, we'll create, create two data sets, train underscore DS for training. And then we'll create validation. So val underscore DS for validation. And the uh, method that's in Keras that we'll use is tf.keras.utils dot image underscore data set underscore from underscore directory and this is the exact same method that we will be using up here for the validation set inside of this the input arguments are going to be data underscore dir and validation underscore split is equal to 0 0.2 that's the 20 percent subset is equal to training and then we have seed and seed set the seed to one two three image underscore size is equal to and here we provide a tuple image underscore height comma image underscore width and this is the same thing that these are the variables we defined up here image height and image width likewise we can specify the batch size is equal to batch size and this is again something that we have specified up here so why don't we uh, run this and that creates our training data set we see that we are using 2936 files for training i'm going to copy uh, let's copy maybe copy everything and paste it here this is and the change that we need to do for the validation set here is instead of training we are going to say this is validation so rest every everything stays the same uh, we just change that subset for validation and so now we see that we are using 734 files for validation now let's look at the class names so class names so each file is belongs to class and the, the class names are there uh, provided in the data set which also are the folder names class underscore names is equal to train underscore ds dot class underscore names and we can print those so class underscore names and we should see five names so these are the five names we have daisy dandelion 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 roses sunflowers and tulips next it's time for visualization so we can visualize the images and for that we'll type we visualize the data and for visualization uh, we again can use matplotlib so for that we'll go ahead and import the library import matplotlib or pyplot as plt and in here we can set the figure size plt dot figure and then fig size is equal to we specify a tuple of size 10 by 10 and then below that inside of the for loop we can generate the nine images uh, in a three by three grid so for images comma labels in train underscore ds dot take what take does is we are looking we are getting the first batch from the train data set and then for i in the range and that batch would have what 32 images that we had set and within those 32 images we are going to uh, look at just the nine images for plotting and for that we'll specify x spl ax is equal to plt dot subplot this is a three by three grid so three rows and three columns and we specify the location where that image needs to be plotted so i plus one so first iteration it will be zero plus one then we have plt dot i am show images and in square brackets we have the uh, first image 
dot numpy we convert the convert it to the numpy array and then set its data type to uint8 so uint8 and then we specify the title plt dot title and the title comes from the class names and we have uh, labels i with this uh, we can turn off the axis plt dot axis off now when we plot this if there are no typos we should see some image so this is again a typo u i n t 8 and we should see nine images in a grid of three by three and so these are the images of flowers that we have the next thing that we can do is we can we can start looking at how we can uh, get the batch sizes or image batch size or label label shape and image shape so for that we'll type for image underscore batch comma labels underscore batch in train for ds print image under underscore batch dot shape and print image underscore batch dot shape and We'll take a look at just the very first batch, what it has. So in the batch, what we have is uh, uh, we, we have 32 images. Each image is 180 pixels by 180 pixels. And each image has three channels uh, corresponding to R, G, and B. And I meant to type labels.batch. So like that, labels.batch. We should see 32 labels. We have 32 labels, one for each image that we have. Now let's move on and look at how we can standardize these images. Standardize the data. And the reason for this is we, the uh, values that we have in the arrays for the images, so those values would be in the range 0 to 255 and our objective here is to convert them convert these values bring them down to the range of 0 to 1 and this is because according to docs these larger values are not ideal for neural networks and so uh, bringing those values values down to 0 to 1 would be ideal and for that what we can do is we are going to uh, use the rescaling uh, from Keras. Nor we'll create a variable normalization layer. So we can create a separate layer that we can use as a layer in the model. Uh, tf.keras.layers.rescaling. And we have 1.0 divided by 255. We specify the fraction. And then to use this layer, we can do it in two ways according to the docs. And the first one is this. So let's look at our option one here. Normalized data set and normalized underscore ds is equal to train underscore ds dot map. And we specify lam use the lambda function lambda x comma y colon and here we use the normalization there so normalization underscore layer and we input the value of x and then we leave the y as is so this would do the normalization typo here again uh, we this will do the normalization for the layer x so for the data in x that is the images and then we can uh, get the image batch and labels for those so image underscore batch comma labels underscore batch is equal to uh, 
next fighter normalized underscore ds then let's look at the first image first underscore image is equal to image dot underscore batch at location zero and we can print the min and max values so print np dot min first underscore image comma np dot max first underscore image and this way we can verify that our images are indeed between 0 and 1 as we see next what we can do is we are moving towards training this particular data set so uh, it's we won't be doing the complete overall uh, parameter search but we'll look at a very basic model and for that on um, the next step in this process is configuring the data set for performance so let's type that out configure the data set for performance and here there are two items that we need to use one is data set dot cache and what what this does is uh, it keeps images in memory keeps images in memory and then the next one is data set dot prefetch what this does is at the time it does two things at the time of while the training is going on it will also read a new set of images that need to be brought in so this does training and reading both in parallel this uh, this allows that those things to happen and to do to write this out we need to use auto tune so auto tune is equal to pf dot data dot auto tune train underscore ds is equal to train underscore ds training data set dot cache and then we dot this with prefetch prefetch buffer is equal to buffer underscore size is equal to auto tune and uh, this is ds i'm going to copy this and paste it here for the validation set pal and so for validation set again we need to change this to validation and this is dot cache and then dot free prefetch where we set the buffer size to auto tune and finally we are in the position to train the model so for that we'll type out that section train a model and here we'll train a sequential model we have five classes and we'll use uh, rescaling the conf 2d max pooling layers then flatten and dense layers so let's see how we can write this num underscore classes is equal to five we have five different types of class so model is equal to tf dot keras dot sequential and inside of this you can specify the list of layers tf dot keras dot layers dot rescaling scaling and this is what we had created earlier so it's the same line of code and after this we are going to use the conf 2d layer tf dot keras dot layers dot conf 2d and then we have uh, 32 comma 3 comma activation is equal to relu and with this we also have the max pooling layer so tf dot k keras dot layers dot max pool 
max pooling and max pooling 2D. Oh, max pooling 2 with capital D. Open close parenthesis. And so that's the first. I'm going to copy this and repeat it two more times. So we have uh, this ready. So we have three layers conf 2D and max pooling 2D. After this, we'll add another layer here that is flattened. So tf dot keras dot layers dot flatten with a capital F. And after that, we'll add two dense layers tf dot keras dot layers dot dense 128 activation is equal to relu. And finally, tf dot keras dot layers dot dense. And here we specify num underscore classes. So the output would should be fives because we have just we have five classes of flowers here. And that should create our model. Let's see what the error is. What to put the comma in there. Okay, so once the model is done, we can now go ahead and compile it. So to compile the model, we can type model.compile and open close parenthesis. And inside of this, we provide the input arguments optimizer is equal to Adam. We'll use the Adam optimizer. And for loss, we'll use the uh, TF uh, by uh, sparse categorical cross and uh, cross entropy. So TF dot keras dot losses dot sparse categorical cross entropy from underscore logits is equal to true. And next after this. We can specify the matrix. So the matrix is accuracy. So the model is now compiled and we can fit the model. Model.fit, fit it on the train data set. And we have the validation data set that is inside of the val underscore ds. And we will do this for just three epochs. And so this will uh, run and we have, we are on the first epoch right now. So this will take a while. So what I'm going to do is stop the video right now. And once this is done, come back and we'll continue on to the next topic. Welcome back. The run is now completed, and here we can see the accuracy, and, and here, and then we here we have the validation accuracy. Uh, we won't go into further training part of this, but we look at we still have two more ways in which we can load the data, image data, and now we we'll look at the next one using tf dot data, and this has more customization options and therefore this method is a little more involved using tf dot data uh, for loading the images directly from the data uh, directory for this we'll create a list of the data set list underscore data set is equal to tf dot sorry tf dot data dot data set dot list underscore files and within this we are going to specify the uh, the string string data slash within quotes we specify star slash star dot zip slash uh, star slash star and for that we have shuffle is equal to false this should be data underscore dir and to copy 
So there is no need to copy. So the next one is list underscore ds is equal to list underscore ds dot shuffle image underscore count comma reshuffle each iteration is equal to false. So we set this to false because in each iteration then we do not have a shuffling and therefore we get the same data set so with this we can now look at what we have in the list for f in list underscore ds dot take five print f dot numpy and here we have the path to the five images are listed Next, we can get the class names. So class underscore names, and we can get them directly from the directory. And for that, we would type, uh, we can create a, a we use list comprehension. So we'll use a for loop for item in data underscore dir dot glob star now here we check if we don't need the license file that is located that's this file we don't need that file and so we are going to put a if condition here if item dot name is not equal to license dot txt then what we want is we need the item dot name so once we have this list created, we can sort it. So I'm going to put a, put a parenthesis around this and type sorted. And we another parenthesis around this to convert this to a numpy array, the so np dot array. And now we can print class underscore names and what we get is uh, this particular list of names for the stars now it's time to split the data set so split the data set into validation and train so val underscore size is equal to uh, int image underscore count and we multiplied by a fraction of 0.2 so 20 percent goes into the validation set train underscore ds is equal to list underscore ds dot skip skip val underscore size because that's going to be for the validation state and in validation then we use dot take so validation underscore ds is equal to list underscore ds dot take val underscore size so with this split, we can now print the length of these data sets that we have. Print df dot data dot experimental dot cardinality train underscore ds dot numpy open close parenthesis and then same thing for the validation set. So all we need to do is change this to val for validation and we see the same numbers 2936 for train set and 734 for the validation set the next part what we are going to do is create write some functions functions and what these functions would do is they'll convert a file to an image label pair so that's what we are going to do and the first function we are going to write is get underscore label that takes in the file path and here what we are going to do is take the file path and then we are going to split it so tf dot strings dot split and file split it based on the os dot path 
dot separator and then store this inside of the parts variable the next thing we'll do is we'll look at the second to last directory that is a class directory so in will one hot we'll store that in one hot so one hot is equal to parts minus two is equal to class underscore names then we'll return tf dot arg max one underscore hot that's the first function the next function is decode so def decode underscore image img and here we'll convert the uh, we'll decode underscore we'll decode the image so for that we'll type tf dot io dot decode underscore jpeg and the input would be the image and channels we have here are three channels and again we'll save the output into the variable image img and then we return the resized image so return tf dot image dot resize img comma and then here we specify height and width high image underscore height comma image underscore width and so that's our second function and then the function after that is process underscore path that takes in file path and here we get the label so get underscore label label file for the file path and this calls we are calling this function with that we just created then we can store the label in variable label and after that we can use the tf uh, read file so img is equal to tf dot io dot read underscore file to and give it the file path Finally, we use img is equal to decode image, decode img, and then we finally return img and label. So, with this, we have now created our third and final function. We can now use, use these functions in uh, the next steps. So, the first thing we'll do is uh, again, we'll use the train set. So train underscore data set is equal to train underscore ds dot map. And in here we have process underscore path. So we are applying this function using map. And uh, then here the second input argument is num underscore parallel underscore number of parallel calls is equal to auto tune that we have uh, defined earlier and can copy this again for the validation set so validation set data set is equal to this and uh, the change again we have is validation here so this is now we have error so missing the c in decode so where are we right here is the c there okay this should run yes and next what we'll do is we'll look at the shape of the images and for image table in train underscore ds dot take one print image shape and uh, the image dot numpy dot shape and then second we'll print the label 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 dot numpy and so we should see the same output so we have 
image that is 180 by 180 pixels with three channels and it has a label that is one now again the next step as we did earlier is to configure the data set for performance and for that we we'll login write another function configure data set for performance we we'll create a function def configure for performance ds that's the data set as an input and we say ds is equal to ds dot cache and open close parenthesis then we have ds is equal to ds dot shuffle and we set the buffer underscore size the to equal to 1000 then we have ds is equal to ds dot batch batch underscore size and then again we have ds is equal to ds dot prefetch again we said here we set the buffer underscore size size to auto tune and finally we return the data set so with this function written we can now use it on the train and test set train and validation set the train underscore data set is equal to configure configure for performance train underscore ds then copy the same thing and use it for the validation set so we say validation data set is equal to configure for performance validation underscore data set and uh, there's a typo so configure probably made a spelling mistake configure for figure for performance and name configure for performance is not defined copy this the same thing configure for performance is not defined and we have missed something so let me check Oh right, there's a typo uh, in the function itself. So this is now ready, and we can now visualize the data as we did before. So for that, uh, let's why don't we just copy the code that we had up above uh, for the plotting? So I'll copy this entire block and paste it down here. So here we need to change image underscore batch a comma label underscore batch is equal to next iter train underscore data set and then prt dot figure we keep that the same and we don't need this outer for loop so we're going to delete that and move this back for i in range 9 uh, then we have the uh, this axis plt dot I am show and here we need to change this to image underscore batch and rest of it stays the same and finally for labels we are going to attach a label label is equal to label underscore batch square brackets i and for the title we have class underscore names and we don't need the i there so this is just going to be label and when we run this now we should be able to see a grid of three by three with images of flowers of course if there are no errors so let's see title class names uh, class names so uh, this should not be an s there so it should be just label and we should now see the output of flowers and here we have the images of flowers we can then continue with the uh, training process so we can say model dot fit train underscore ds comma validation underscore data is equal to validation underscore ds and then epochs is equal to 
three. So this again will run through the data set and it might take a few seconds or maybe a few minutes and I'll cut the video now and come back once the training is done. Welcome back. So here is the completed training and we can again see that uh, we have the validation accuracy score listed right here which increases from 0.704 to up to 0 0.74 in this case of course this is not the complete uh, training process that we are describing here this just to show uh, primarily to show how to uh, create the data set for training purposes the last option that uh, we have in this series is uh, how to use tensorflow data sets and for that we'll create another heading right here that says using tensorflow data sets and this is uh, pretty straightforward with minimal code uh, first we'll create we'll use tfds.load so tfds.load and here we are going to load the data set t data set tf underscore flowers and uh, we are going to split this data set in the train validation and test sets by like so we have train and square brackets colon uh, 80 so first 80 percent goes in the train set and then we have after this we have the next train again square by open close square brackets and then we have the third train uh, again within quotes we have train open close square brackets and in this second case we start from the remaining 80 percent to 90 percent goes in the validation set and then the remaining 90 percent onwards goes into the test set and next here we also need to specify uh, with info is equal to true so we get the uh, metadata as well and as underscore supervised is equal to true and we can get save the, all of this information in variables that we can specify right here the first is train underscore ds that is data set. then we have validation data set then we have the test data set and comma metadata so this creates the splits for the data sets and then we have the classes so if you look at meta data dot feature features and label this is what we get we have five classes and so if you look at the dot num underscore uh, classes and if we save here we then we can save this in a variable num underscore classes is equal to this and we can also print this print num underscore classes and what we have in the output are five classes uh, let's now retrieve one image and print it uh, like display it so get underscore label underscore name is equal to meta data dot features label and here we can say dot int to str then image comma label is equal to next iter train underscore ds and after this we can plot the image underscore is equal to plt dot i am show image and then again underscore is equal to plt dot title get underscore label underscore name and we have the label 
So when we run this, we should see image of a rose and here we have the image of a rose. And finally, we can also perform, configure the performance such as train underscore ds is equal to configure underscore for underscore performance uh, for the train data set and similarly we can uh, configure the performance for both the validation as well as the test set so you have the test and then uh, again we can change this to validation and this to the test set so that's it for this particular topic of load and uh, loading and processing image in tensorflow uh, i hope you got some intuition about how to uh, load images in tensorflow using any of these three methods if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below i i'll try to post them into maybe more than one videos if the video gets too long uh, with three sections one for each methods um, and if you'd like to see any uh, videos on a specific topic in tensorflow please do let me know uh, thank you for your support it means a lot to me